today I am here in Indian Harbor Beach with Julie Berg. Hello, Julie. Hi. Say hello. Hi, everybody. I hope you're having an awesome day. <laughs> we have this beautiful scenery. Wish you all were here. Uh, awesome. And so here we've been we've been working with Julie. Uh, we're halfway through our day. So uh, just real quick, Julie, what, what what are we doing here for you? <laughs> oh. And I'm here with uh, Fernie and TJ and Matt, and we're we're having a great time. But in the process, I'm learning a lot about online marketing, uh, the sales funnel, webinar funnel. So uh, these guys know their stuff for sure. It's blessed. <laughs> so so we're going to talk about social media recruiting. That's our, our topic here. All of a sudden, online recruiting methods are are becoming more and more accepted in the in the network marketing space. Fortunately, we've been doing this for quite a bit now. Uh, online st recruiting strategies, whether it's social media, internet marketing, uh, e you know, email drops, whatever it is. And so that's what we're going to talk about. But first, if you don't know who we are or who I am, my name is Freddy Savalas. Uh, uh, I'm a chief marketing officer at Elite Marketing Pro. Uh, I, when I, I, I got started about 10 years ago in this industry, and within two years of discovering the methods that we teach at Elite Marketing Pro. I uh, became a six-figure earner in network marketing, and over the past 10 years, I've been responsible for over $11 million in gross income into my home businesses. So this stuff works, but not only that, what's more important for me is that we've literally helped uh, hundreds, if not thousands of people generate hundreds of millions of dollars collectively in their home businesses. So this stuff works, and we're here. Julie is uh, essentially our, one of our next generation students, although she's already uh, killing it in, in the network marketing space, multiple six-figure earner, where uh, about 80% of her organization of 8,300 reps was recruited through social media. So not only does she know how to recruit through social media, she knows how to duplicate and teach what she does on social media. And I wanted to, because social media recruiting is now the biggest topic, and in my opinion, I've reviewed all the courses that are currently out there on, on social media recruiting. And, uh, and you know, quite honestly, the, the course we put together just a couple weeks ago yeah. is, is far superior to anything that's out there because you're very nuts and bolts, you're very practical, uh, you give people scripts, uh, you, you give people sample posts of what they should post, so not only do you cover the theory, you cover the, the actual stuff that they have to do. So, yeah. But before we, we go into kind of your, your methods, um, just so you guys know, there's a link in the description for uh, Julie's course. You can go, go there, check it out. Uh, for the next hour, you can uh, get it at a 50% discount if you go to that link. And you can learn more about what Julie does and how she's done it. Uh, but first and foremost, Julie, why social media recruiting? Why do you think it's become as popular as it's become now? Why all of a sudden, it be, we, were, we were the black sheep for, for talking about the internet, but all of a sudden now it's becoming accepted. Why, why all of a sudden has it... Uh, as it yeah. becomes the, the thing to, to learn? Uh, well, I, I could probably answer that just through sharing a little bit of, of my story uh, very quickly for those of you that don't know um, my background. Uh, when I got started in network marketing, I actually um, found network marketing, never heard of the profession, and came from doing um, a traditional business. And then I was in direct sales, uh, looking to still drive some income into our home because I, I never wanted to own a traditional business again. And I never wanted to go back to to corporate America, uh, which I did right out of high school. And so um, for me, with direct sales, what do you have to do? You have to go to home parties, and it, it's very much like uh, a cash and carry. And so I did that for about a year, and I'm going to just be honest, um, I, I didn't enjoy being away from my family um, nights and weekends, because that's mainly when you're going to host a party. There's not many people available in, in the morning or afternoon. So when I got started in network marketing, for me personally, I didn't want to have a home party. Um, I didn't want to make a list of 100 names. I, I, I feel like I've already tapped into um, you know, friends and family in regards to the home party business. And to be honest, I didn't feel comfortable doing uh, cold calling. And so uh, being a mom, only having so many hours in my day, um, I was very new to, to Facebook and what I did is I posted a very um, a, a curiosity post, never said my company, I never spam my company all over my Facebook page, just posted a, a simple post and I had 45 responses of people wanting to know what I was doing. And so I said, okay, there's something to this Facebook thing, let me figure this out more. And so um, I felt because of my first post created so much curiosity, that I kept creating curiosities and telling stories through my post rather than saying, boom, here, 
here's my product now go buy it right and like putting links all over the page and you know I always say there's two ways you can prospect you can um, you know passively prospect and actively prospect and active is is reaching out to people and saying you know hey this is what I'm doing you know you have an interest would you be open to taking a look at it or passive is what I was doing in regards to posting curiosity posts on um, my page and, and so it was uh, it worked right because it allowed the person to reach out to me and ask me hey what are you doing what's this product all about I keep seeing these testimonials I had so many people tell me that all right I'm done watching you what is this and and then I I, I teach this mm -hmm. in a social media recruiter how a very simple six-step process of from the connecting to then how to bring it offline and yes I share a, a lot of the scripts and and the point of with the scripts is to take them and, and match it to your voice it's please don't be scripted it's a guideline for all of you to, to use and to give you um, just different inspiration of how to reach out to people and so that's how, that's what started that journey and, and so I went to social media because I didn't want to do the traditional of, of and, and I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that, right? I'm not saying there's anything wrong with doing it that way. However, for my schedule, I didn't want to be away from, from my husband. I didn't want to be away from my children. And so I turned to social media to form and build these relationships and connections. Awesome. And so uh, real, obviously we're the course that you put together, the thing that I broke it up and the total video content is over three hours and so easily consumable mm -hmm. for people but not, not you're, we're not going to go over all no. the content here there. <laughs> um, we'd be here for three hours. Yeah, yeah, we'd be here for a while and, and my hand would get tired from holding the phone. Um, and we're hungry. But, 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 and we're hungry, our food's waiting. But real, real quick, um, some of the do's and don'ts, you already kind of went through through some of the stuff. You, uh, you know, because some quick tips if, if people are, are currently doing social media marketing and not getting results. What are they very likely doing wrong, and and what should they be doing instead? I think you covered it a little bit, but I wanted yeah. to be specific. Um, well, right, I go over the do's and don'ts, um, and but I think the main thing is to brand yourself. And when I say brand, it, it's more of you know share more in, into who you are and what you stand for and what you're passionate about because you are not your company right you are you are you you're 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 I am not my network marketing company yes I, I am alignment with them and their products but yet people are attracted to me for for who I am and what I give value to, to them and and, and building the, building the uh, relationships with your true authentic self so I think the first and foremost of what I see people not doing is is, is branding them and, and really just they're just posting all about their company very often all over their pages. So I think that's one of the, the, the main uh, do's and, and don'ts. I would say another one is um, start doing Facebook Live, and, and I could probably get into that. Uh, that what we're doing right while. now. Right. You guys, Facebook Live, um, you know, I, I started doing them. Um, I, I started a fan page, and again, this is all in the course, so I'm not going to dive into this, but very briefly. I, I um, started a fan page just a couple months ago, and I was I was paralyzed by fear to do Facebook Live, and I just I kept being told this is what you got to do if you want to start attracting people to you, you want to do the Facebook Live and give content and give value and and help solve a problem like what's your solution or, or help like a teachable moment share that, and I started doing Facebook Live and very quickly sort of. A following on my fan page and um, just recently had a multiple 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 five-figure month just because people start to know like and trust you you could build a relationship so much faster doing Facebook live and I know that there's gonna be people watching this that you're gonna say I can't do it I can't do it well we teach a very very simple step-by-step -step, um, script and um, really Facebook live only you know three minutes just come on introduce yourself uh, go over what you're gonna be talking about you do the Facebook live call to action boom you're done so that right there I think is um, also definitely a do instead of just doing like text posts mm -hmm. text posts are not gonna see they're not gonna get much engagement as a, a Facebook live video no I, t I totally agree and, and again it people People want to connect. Uh, they want to know if they can know, like, and trust you. Yeah. Um, and so I, I think 
that nothing's more powerful. You get more reach, more people view a Facebook Live. Yes. Uh, it's a, you know, people are on Facebook to connect, and there's no better way to connect than than video. Yeah. And you don't have to be formal. Look, I'm holding a phone right now, and you know, normally I do this big production for my home office, and I have the lower third and everything. But I was like, heck, we're just gonna do it this way with the phone and and with yeah. the beach in the background because we're here at the at uh, for Julie's VIP day. And so, uh, the the final thing, Julie. Mm -hmm. um, you know, for those people who are in a situation where their company's saying, uh, uh, "Don't use the internet. Do do it this way. Do the home parties. Do what do what I tell you to do." Um, I'm sure you, when you got started, you had people, your upline saying, "Do it this this old school way." And there's nothing wrong with that. That that works, but it's a grind. It's very time intensive, and certainly I don't I don't want to be doing that stuff, and I don't do it anymore. Um, and I went online for the same reasons you did. But how do you answer that question? Uh, the objection from either the company or the upline as to, hey, why are you doing it online? I don't want you to do it online. I want you to do it this way. This is how we've done it. This is what's proven. How, how do you answer that objection? Um, oh, uh, oh, sorry, a bug flew in my glasses. Sure. Uh, how do I answer? Um, it's your own business. And I, I guess, you know, you get into network marketing because you want freedom, right? You want time freedom. You want um, more free freedom with your family to do the things that you love to do you know, money, you know, obviously we, we get into network marketing for all these reasons and it's supposed to be your business. Mm -hmm. So I, I understand and it's not discrediting um, an upline. Um, my upline is fantastic. They've, they've taught me a lot. However, I had to find what was right for me. Mm -hmm. And so I guess that's just what I say to all of you. If you enjoy doing home parties, keep doing them. If you enjoy cold calling, keep doing it. If you enjoy making a list of 100 names and contacting them and then keep going another list and another list, then keep doing it. If you want to learn other strategies of how to maybe build it faster online, reaching more people, then, you know, that's what we teach. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's finding what works for you in, in your business and how do you want to build your business and then how do you want to duplicate that to your team. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that's... That's why I, I came online, uh, you know, 10 years ago, there was really no social media, there was uh, internet marketing strategies, and I had to learn a whole new skill set, and that skill set wasn't easy to learn, I, but I chose to master it because it was far more preferred than the alternative, which is to continue to pound the, pound the pavement, prospect my bartender, my waiter, my, you know, anyone that, that breathed. I just, I was good at prospecting, I was good at recruiting, I just didn't like it. Uh, I'm an introverted. Uh, by nature and I just uh, I, I wanted to figure out a different way and I did and, and that's what you've done I did and and we're not taking away from that if you do find a great bartender that you you were like man this person is gonna be great in, in my business I'm gonna prospect them yeah of course we're not saying don't prospect offline but um, if you want to build your business faster without doing all that other stuff then the online strategies is, is, is what you want to learn yeah, it was a, for me it was a personal choice. When I went out uh, with my friends or family at a restaurant, whatever, I didn't, I didn't want my business to be on my mind. I wanted to be yeah. able to be present with my family. And that's pretty much, for me, when that was restored uh, is, is when this business truly became what I wanted it to become. Mm -hmm. So it's that if you're doing that and it's working for you, awesome. It's mm -hmm. just not what I, I made a personal choice. Julie made a personal choice and networkers out there are making personal choices every single day. So. Yeah. Awesome. So that's it for today. We got to go go grub now and uh, and finish our lunch. So thank you so much, Julie, for, for being yeah. on. This is really appreciative. Um, and I know everyone here appreciates it. What's up, David? Hi, Tammy. Um, so if you have, have not gotten Social Media Recruiter, want to go check it out. There's a link in the description. Uh, go click on that. You'll read more about Julie's story and uh, what she's managed to create. And uh, you'll have about an hour to, to get it at 50% off. Hi, Heather. So, so, <laughs> hey, girl. Hey, what's up? <laughs> so, so go click on the link. Go check out Julie's uh, a, a course. It's awesome. It's uh, far less expensive and far superior than anything that's out there in the market, in my opinion. Uh, and I've reviewed all the, all the courses. So uh, thanks so much. Yeah, have an awesome day, you. guys. We'll talk soon. Bye. Bye.